All right, so another question from YouTube here, this time concerning active pickups for your guitar. First off, they are asking, do active pickups require special cables? And the simple answer to that is no. And that is really sort of the definitive answer. Are there caveats? Of course there are caveats. Of course there are special boutique style uh, active pickups out there or passive pickups that can output a stereo signal or at least two channels. And there's also pickups, active pickups, where you can use a balanced cable. However, you don't have to use a balanced cable, you know, a TRS cable, you don't have to, but yes, they do exist. However, the answer most of the time, uh, do they require a special kind of cable? The answer is no. A standard quarter inch cable will work. It may be labeled guitar cable. It may be labeled instrument cable. And you know, th these can go by a lot of different names, but it's a quarter inch cable with one ring. That's the basics. Now, as far as brands, it doesn't matter. I like Monster personally, just because I buy them once and whenever they fail, I send them back in and then they ship me brand new ones. That's why I like them. And overall, they're good quality. Do they sound better? No. I mean, I don't notice any difference. However, they sound as good as the signal uh, can be, in my opinion. But, you know, cable brands, as long as it's a, it's a quality cable, it's fine. And hell, you can even make your own cables and it can be just as good as, as anything you buy, okay? I'm just saying, something quality, something a good gauge, and, uh, you know, quality guitar cable, you'll be fine. Now for the other part of the question, why do I say you need to unplug the cable from your guitar? And yes, I am talking about unplug it from the guitar. Now you should always unplug your cables, uh, which we'll get to in, in just a minute, but the reason I say this specifically for active pickups is because whenever you plug in your cable, you have completed the circuit. So that means you're draining power from the battery, no matter if the other end is plugged into your 11 rack, your amp, whatever, doesn't matter. That can be floating free, okay? Uh, but if it's plugged into the guitar, you're draining the battery. So of course the obvious question is, how long does a, ba does a battery last, a nine volt battery? Well, that lasts, uh, most of the times they'll say, it will last one year if you play eight hours a day. So <laughs> your battery is probably not going to drain. Even if you leave the thing plugged in 24 hours a day, uh, it's going to last you quite a long time. However, uh, I would not suggest that you let your battery go a year without changing it. My preference is to change it at least every three months. If you're actively gigging, I mean, I would consider changing the thing almost before every show or at least every couple. That's me personally. But me again, me personally, somewhere between three, four, maybe six months, I'll change it no matter what, even if I haven't touched the guitar. Now, a little story. You know, I have, I have several guitars that have active pickups. And one of them, I just haven't played for like two years. This was a while ago. You know, I didn't play it for like two years. Had a 9-volt battery in it this whole time. Didn't touch it. Picked it up, plugged in the cable, and it worked, you know, just like brand new. Uh, so that battery stayed in there for two years, and it was fine. So just, you know, keep that in mind. And I'm not saying you have to constantly be changing batteries or that, you know, they drain quickly or anything like that, because they don't. I'm simply saying you might as well unplug the cable from your guitar and save from draining that battery. You know, as soon as you plug that cable in, it's like an on switch for a, like a light switch. Even if a bulb is not screwed in, you know, you're still giving power, uh, you know, to that port there. So unplug your cables so you don't drain your battery. But also if you have passive pickups, you still need to unplug your cable. And that is because if you leave it plugged in there all the time, I mean, just think about it. You're playing guitar, right? Stuff can get in there if you're touching the cable. And if you're sweating, humidity, all these things, you leave, you're leaving that cable plugged in all the time, right? I mean, what's going to happen? You're going to start getting corrosion. You're going to start eating away at the port and at the jack. There's no reason to leave any guitar constantly plugged in, not to mention the safety hazard of somebody walking by and running into a cable and you're, you know, thousand dollars car hitting the ground and breaking the neck. So unplug it, one, to save your battery, and even if you have passive pickups on your guitar, unplug it so you're not getting everything all corroded and clean your shaft, guys. Uh, <laughs> seriously, clean the shaft of <laughs> of your cables to make sure those contacts uh, stay, you know, to make sure the shaft stays clean and the connection is, uh, you know, as, as good as possible there, okay? Any hole that'll take a dirty shaft is not a good hole. <laughs> it's not a good hole to be putting your plug into. That's a, that's a life lesson. Keep your shaft clean, guys. Okay, I think that answers all the questions and some that weren't even asked but yes don't leave your guitar plugged in your active guitar pickup or any guitar for that matter constantly plugged in you don't want to drain the battery and you don't want to cause corrosion and no active pickup guitars do not require any sort of special uh cable okay so there you go that answers your questions any more questions someone leave me a comment if i think it's uh interesting i'll make a video on it if not i'll just you know try to answer it 